Hello and welcome back to SVR 11 Universe. I'm Jitch. And this is Superstars. I was kind of considering something, but I want you guys' opinion on it. It keeps entering my brain. Um, what would you guys say to me changing out Superstars for ECW, but instead of having it as a third brand, because you can't actually make a third brand in this year's universe, um, ECW is just kind of like what Superstars is... But there's also a championship for people to then compete for on here. Kind of like the old WTX title, where it's, it's just like the lower rank title. It's both brands. From West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. Just kind of curious what you guys would think of that as an idea. I mean, I can always just leave it as superstars if you don't like the idea can just whatever I don't mind it's just there's gonna obviously be some people that become mainstays on superstars like Luke Gallows and Ezekiel Jackson and Yoshi Tatsu and stuff I don't feel like they'll always be featured on Smackdown because there are just people the game doesn't book and I'm kind of feeling like superstars is probably gonna wind up being the show that I book um so I was just thinking maybe like that could be a thing because I really like the uh, old ECW title admittedly in this game it's really tiny and that's very strange um but the ECW arenas in this and everything and it, it's just like superstars obviously wasn't it was like a last minute addition because like the arena's not even programmed properly if you look on the wiki i put in um where these come from every week because it that's a part of like you know how they actually lay out the wikipedia entries is um where the show was aired from every week uh, and stuff like that. I mean, they don't actually have one for that, but like for the pay-per-views, they'll list where they were aired is probably what I meant to say there. Um, so, I was just kind of curious, like, you know, maybe that could be a thing. I think it's probably going to be more correctly programmed than Superstars, considering ECW was, like, kind of still a brand when this game came out. I mean, I could always just use NXT, but obviously that then doesn't have a title either. But it would be more up to date. So actually, maybe I should use NXT. Because NXT is like the secondary show in 12, I think. I don't really want to mess with like the shows too much. I kind of want to like leave them the same. I'm not planning on having some big ECW takeover and using the ECW titles and using the WCW titles. I'm kind of happy with just using um, just Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Just kind of what, what it actually is. <clears throat> I won't use, like, the Universal title, God no, but... Just something like that. It's just a thought. I mean, if you guys disagree, then by all means let me know. I won't do it if you guys don't want to see it. But I was thinking maybe, like, either... Now I'm kind of thinking maybe NXT makes more sense, though. So I'm thinking maybe just use the NXT arena instead of Superstars, because that's kind of what actually was airing at the time. I know, I know Superstars was around, it's just it was never it was put important. It was less than shows like NXT and ECW. Um, or maybe making it ECW just because then they'll have like a title they can kind of compete for here on uh, Superstars. The thing is obviously the roster's quite small in this game. So um, I'm kind of thinking you don't really need it at the same time because, like, everyone does mostly get used. Like, I think there's only maybe like three people that haven't debuted yet. The Rock hasn't debuted. Um, and uh, there's another one off the top of my head. British Bulldog hasn't debuted. But actually thinking on it, everyone else has. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. As I say, I, that's kind of what I'm asking. I just want to know you guys' opinion because I don't really know what I want to do with this one. I don't have a signature scene. No, I don't know why you did that. And that one hurt his hand. Oh. Cena has the headlock. Oh, it doesn't get more punishing than that. Got to do the off the ropes. Shoulder tackle. No. And a nice reversal by Benjamin. 
Gotta get this, the, the five moves of doom. Shoulder tackle. He's supposed to get up faster than that so I can bounce off the ropes and do it again. Off the ropes, shoulder tackle. And then, and then you, and then you get up. And then I, I bounce off these ropes and I do a shoulder tackle. <laughs> and then, and then I do the, the like side suplex thing and then I lift my hand in the air and then I do the five knuckle shuffle and then I like poise myself and I, and I do the, you can't see me and the, and the, 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 the attitude adjustment. I kept going to say F you because we've been playing 2006 as I said before and it's just really hard to get used to not 2006 after that and my phone is going off like crazy so I really need to wrap this match up but I can't because Shelton Benjamin's being a piece of shit and I wanted to put Cena over because it's his debut he's one of the only people left that hadn't debuted yet and I just want to get everyone debuted so I'm just trying my best but he just keeps harassing everything Shelton Benjamin's a piece of shit <sighs> he's just doing really slow moves that barely do any damage because Shelton Benjamin's a piece of shit and he's fucking bouncing off the ropes and no So you know. I just wanted to put Cena over. That was all I was thinking with this one. Was just, hey, let's put Cena over. Let's make Cena look really good. Shelton Benjamin's a nice first opponent. He'll give him a good competition, which is what he's doing. But right now, I don't have time for a good competition. So I just need you to fucking go down. Just stop running at me so I can run at you. I'm the running move man. That's my job. Dude, come on. All right, you know what? I'm just going to pause it. All right, I'm back. So let's kick Shelton Benjamin's booty. Gotta make John Cena look strong. But in regards to this ECW Superstars NXT thing, to be honest, it's probably gonna make more sense for it not to be ECW all the same because I don't know how many people are gonna even end up competing for that title. Obviously, it could bring prestige to it to have it booked both on Raw and SmackDown. Maybe that'll make it even better. I don't know. All I know is it was just a thought because I really like the belt and I like the arena and it's probably better programmed in the game than Superstars because I just don't have a location for any of these episodes. And to be honest, no one really seems to care much about Superstars anyway. So, I don't know. That's just what I'm throwing out there. He sure does. John Cena, poised with the attitude adjustment. Game over, Benjamin boy. There you go. Cena did it. Cena did it. I'm telling everybody. Cena did it. I saw him. He did it. Really? Well, there you go. He finally got his debut. Jan. Uh oh. No. Shelton. I remember when you beat Vance Archer in a submission match, and now this? For shame. Well, it's tag team time here on Superstars. So John Morrison and Molina teaming up. Last week, Molina was a little bit outnumbered on Superstars, actually, because she ended up going up against both Natalia and Mickey James, who were obviously a little bit better that Molina was handed the Divas Championship following the Championship Scramble match at TLC. So now we're going to see Natalia, one of the two, go up against... Uh, Melina in this tag team match, which also features John Morrison facing off against Tyson Kidd. Two technically cruiserweight superstars, though I don't really think that Tyson Kidd is in any kind of pursuit of the cruiserweight championship right now. He's quite happily being the world tag team champion, something that Morrison won't be able to go for because, uh, 
boy, this is a really over the top entrance. Because Tyson Kidd and David Hart Smith, you know, they're a tag team. Was John Morrison and our truth no longer a tag team? He kind of blew that. What the fuck was he doing at the end there? They kind of blew it, didn't they? John Morrison kind of pulled it away. You know, he could actually win against Tyson Kidd. What's that going to achieve now? Nothing. who could be the Divas Champion one day. There is a plus to both sides of this. Morrison could win and he could find a tag partner and end up challenging for the World Tag Team titles. But just as well, Natalia could win and she could end up becoming the new contender for the Divas Championship. It really can go either way. They will stop wearing black and pink eventually. It's just I still haven't gotten any threads for... Uh, the women so I thought I might as well like try to make them match as best as I can it's a bit like a uh, Morrison and Melina I just went with Morrison's blue attire because then he matched Melina at least Morrison controlling the arm he's in big trouble great athletic ability on display there Morrison is tremendously confident tremendously what a fierce kick Obviously, Morrison even went as far as to eliminate our truth in the Battle Royal on Raw. But uh, we'll see what he can do against Tyson Kidd. Yes. Zack Ryder almost got himself a, another match. And it's just like, geez. Someone in the booking team really likes Zack Ryder. Because it, it was pairing him with Melina instead of the person that is literally Melina's tag team partner. I see bright things in the future of John Morrison. He could actually be the one to throw off Kane for the US title with enough luck. He seems to be able to play his cards just right. And I think that's probably the biggest thing that favors him in his matches is the fact that the guy's just ring smart. Oh yeah, that huge match. Let's hear more about that huge match. I don't actually remember what the main event of this was. Wasn't it uh, Ted DiBiase versus Yoshi Tatsu? I got uh, a, a big development for you guys. Because Ted DiBiase feels so confident that he can beat Yoshi Tatsu. He has willingly put the million dollar championship up for grabs in the main event of Superstars. So Yoshitatsu could actually take that uh, very expensive prop that Ted DiBiase wears around. And it could become a well-respected championship. But I guess the rule for DiBiase and the million dollar title is that since he is in possession of it, since it's his championship that he made or his father bought or whatever um, because of the fact that it belongs to him and not the brand of Smackdown as a whole it gets defended if and when DiBiase says so and since he sees Tatsu as an easy opponent he's willing to defend the million dollar championship in the main event just so that he can say he's he's actually defended what is literally recognized as a Championship. That arm is just getting dissected. This would be Natalia's second victory of Melina if she can beat her in this. Watch out here. In this one. Ouch. Ouch. So I say, Morrison and Melina, a very kick based duo. There was actually no women's action on Raw this week, but then there won't be sometimes. There are only seven women on both brands. This diva reminds me of my last girlfriend. She was a redhead. No hair, just a redhead. Oh. <laughs> ha ha! 
He's so fucking funny. <laughs> funny. Into the headlock. This could be big. Molina loved to have fun in that ring. What the hell even was oh, that? No. A bulldog. What a face buster. And or face buster. Pain shooting to the arm. She's in bad shape here. She's got to make the tag. She's going for it. Well, I mean, technically, Tyson Kidd can't hit Melina, so Melina could pin oh, Natalia just about anywhere. Oh, I, I guess fair enough. That's not actually a physical altercation, because it's a disqualification if a man hits a woman. Don't worry, though. As part of the Equality Act of 1947, if a woman hits a man, perfectly legal. No DQ. It's only if the man retaliates. Fuck yeah, equality. Tyson Kidd. Controlling the head. Oh my, just raw, unmitigated power. Jeez. I really wanted to, like, make Morrison and Molina look good, but to be honest, it's getting to one of those makes sense, might as well let it play out that way outcomes. <laughs> Supposed to be fair, Tyson Kidd is a tag champion. From to lose a tag match would be a little bit silly, but only a little bit. Call your friends. Let them know what's going on right now in this awesome match. What if I don't have any friends to call? Impressive counter there by Morrison. What a beautiful diving crossbody. Beautiful. That should do it right there. One, She's seen it up. Two, and Tyson Kidd works to get the shot. Sure, he can do it on his own. Doesn't need you, Natalia. We're bailing him out. Morrison. TJ, my boy. Tyson's in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble now. Ah, shit. Don't elbow her. Don't elbow her. Don't elbow her. John Morrison loves to work at his <sighs> Good choice. Hear how his leg connected? Tyson Kidd has absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment. The question is, how much is left? Not much. Oh gosh, the back. That could very well dislocate a vertebra. Oh, do you believe that? <laughs> do you believe that? Interesting choice of words. <clears throat> Kid likes to talk about how he hoped to one day be as good as the superstar he grew up watching. I like that Natalia just stood there and allowed her to walk over and then oh, smack her in the, the face. The At no point did Natalia think to stop any of that from happening. To the floor. Natalia likes what she's seeing right now. Molina controlling the waist. I don't know what's going to happen here. Molina embodies the spirit of the WWE. I really She's that smart, taunt just makes me uncomfortable. I don't know what the hell's happening. Damage to the upper vertebrae. Is Molina a high flyer? No, would be the answer to that. Steven reminds me of my last girlfriend. She was a redhead. No hair, just a redhead. And oh god, it's there again. I was trying something different. I think that might be her only taunt. Let's try the other one. Let's see. Yep, that's all four of her taunts. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, Melina should probably win a match. <laughs> Melina has the headlock. As the champion, she should probably win a match. But also, I guess it does make her a pretty good heel champion to have just been handed a belt and then never be able to actually successfully win a match. Kind of legitimizes that whole hateability of a heel. Oh, come on. Get up. You took, like, one arm drag. Oh, 
That's technically not uh, any kind of physicality. All he did was move her. John Morrison bringing this capacity crowd to its feet. And hits the drop kick. What impact. There's a great move by Morrison. Look at the agility. Big knockdown to Tyson Kidd. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh, Tyson Kidd caught that. Let's see if we can uh, maybe... Maybe wrap this one up a little bit. I can see people looking at the hair and physique of John Morrison and maybe thinking that this guy's all flash. But there's a lot of substance Maybe there. I can't wrap this one up. Maybe Tyson Kidd doesn't want it to end. Extremely intelligent and very motivated. Still got a title match coming up. Million dollar title. He's heading out of the ring now. What is he doing? It doesn't matter, I guess. Melina got him right back in. Ah. Wonder what that was gonna be. Pulling off moves only he can do, like kick someone. Only John Morrison. No one else has what it takes. Sorry for all the barking in the background. We've got one of the loudest, most annoying dogs on earth at the moment in our home. That'll do some damage. I don't know if those getting picked up. I'm just apologizing if they are. All right, I'm bored of this match now. It's official. It's official. Oh, don't start. No, no. Let's not do that. Let's not just keep tagging in and out. You already made that joke. Connected? I'll Go take it. One, one, two, two. There you go. One, two, two. Oh, no. One. She's back out on the apron. One. She finally two. steps out. Three. There you go. Gets the win. Good old fashioned roll up battle. And that's a victory. Caught slipping. I don't know what that means. Probably something about a leverage pin, I'd guess. Well, John Morrison and Melina are victorious. I guess they're more of the it couple right now than uh, Tyson Kidd and Natalia. Is basically what you can take away from that. The Divas Champion actually picks up a, a, a victory. She's won a match now. Technically still hasn't because she didn't pin anyone, but whatever. John Morrison, congratulations, you pinned a tag champion. Now find a partner that isn't our truth and try to win those titles. Alright, championship opportunity time for Tatsu. I'm not entirely sure that they're a tag team, but I like the idea that they are. So, uh, Yoshi Tatsu and Rob Van Dam. I mean, he seems to be in his corner a lot. Though I haven't actually made him an official tag team, but it booked Rob Van Dam in his corner, so maybe. He is officially the million dollar champion, although he has stated that it will only be defended when he says it will be defended. Uh, so, there's that, I guess. Fun fact, if you didn't know this already, Stone Cold Steve Austin said that he hated the million dollar championship. Uh, I saw this video pop up about like, um, why he never wore championships and it's because he did wear them initially uh, and although it wasn't 
the reason. He said that when he wore the million dollar title, he hated wearing it because it would fall to pieces. It looked great, but there were so many bits on it that would just fall off. And it just wasn't a very stable championship. Um, I think, by the way, in case anyone's curious, his reason for not wearing belts is just because he felt that it looked cooler to hold it. Which I agree, to be honest. I don't really like people like that wear them as much as people that kind of hold them over their shoulder. I always think that looks a lot better. The putting it around your waist thing is very old-fashioned. It doesn't really suit much. But it's kind of sad that this could already be the beginning of the end for uh, Ted DiBiase's million dollar title reign, but at the same time, it's not an officially recognized title. It doesn't have a track record, it doesn't have any kind of history. He's going around saying he's the first ever million dollar champion and that it's a championship he himself introduced. <clears throat> it's not really much of a bragging right. <laughs> But he's, he does stand very proud, I will admit. But he could be the first uh, to lose the Million Dollar Championship too, because uh, going up against Yoshitatsu is not exactly a very favorable match. Yoshitatsu, whether you like him or not, he is quite a talented guy. He has a victory over Vance Archer, who is a former contender for the Intercontinental title. Which is more than Ted DiBiase can say for himself. Of course, Ted DiBiase has recently partnered up with his uh, rich boyfriend, Cody Rhodes, as they are now a tag team legacy. So this is kind of both a singles contest and something to do with the SmackDown tag division all in one, potentially. Assuming Tatsu and uh, Van Dam do want to become a team. In which case, you guys need to come up with a name. So I guess the question is, do you guys want to be a team? And do you guys have a name for them? DBSC wants to make very light work of Yoshitatsu. There's a quick pin attempt. See if maybe. Oh. Oh. Tough break for Tatsu, I guess. I'm not quite sure what happened there. No, still. No, no. no. No, he's not new. He, he already had that belt. He's just still got it. Well, Ted DiBiase is still the million dollar champion, if that's anything to say. How often we can expect this title to be defended? I don't know. It's not officially a recognized title, so it doesn't have the 30 day no compete clause. It's genuinely just a when he wants to put it up, he'll put it up. I mean, the guy was confident he could beat Yoshitatsu, and what says I'm ready and I can beat someone better than pinning them in an instant and winning? Okay. Very unusual main event and ending to that episode of Superstars. Let's have a look at the news and results. I mean, news and rankings. Oh my god, that fucking dog. Alright, uh, news. John Morrison Molina's friendship has gotten even stronger. Yes. Yes, friendship. That's the word they're using. Okay. Uh, no change. Um, no change. I think no change. There was only one Raw match on this show, which was Morrison and Kid and Molina and Natalia, so there wouldn't really be much. Benjamin Cena, Tatsu, Ko, Ted. No. Uh, Cody Rhodes has now shot up from the number three to the number one contender for the Mrs. Intercontinental title. Just because Tatsu dropped down to number three, that's really all there is to say about that one. So, uh, that could be an Intercontinental title match one day. John Cena has surpassed The Undertaker with his victory over Shelton Benjamin, whilst Ted DiBiase has now ranked, entered rank number nine over Dolph Ziggler for such a quick win over Yoshi Tatsu. And coming up on SmackDown, we can expect... 
maybe a rematch between Tatsu and DiBiase. I don't know. Maybe. Rob Van Dam versus Cody Rhodes. I mean, these two matches are kind of continuation in a way, so I, I do like that. Um, a tag team match. Preferably not a ladder match, but that is okay. I wouldn't mind that. Be nice to see the tag champions compete. Um... And a contenders match. Holy shit, it didn't put Randy Orton versus Punk. I'll take it. After his loss to Big Show. I mean, his loss to Randy Orton last week. Big Show now knows what it's like to eat defeat to Randy Orton, just like CM Punk does. But one of these two will be the one that faces Randy Orton at the Royal Rumble for the World Heavyweight title. Will CM Punk get his much-awaited rematch with Randy Orton? Or will the Big Show be named on one contender? We'll find out later on but for now thank you all for joining me for this episode of superstars i'll see you guys later bye